Hi everyone, this is Miwa. Thanks for joining me for wall squat sessions. I know some of us take squats for granted, but they are great for anybody who is starting out with lower body strengthening, uh, recovering from injuries, or want to improve their balance, or who just want to work out in small spaces. So we're going to do 10 variations today. So let's get started. The first one we're going to do is wall sit, which you might be familiar with. All you're going to do is put your feet a shoulder width apart and you're just going to lean against the wall and slide down as far as you feel comfortable. Now your knees shouldn't go past your toes so you should be able to see your toes so the further down you go the further away your feet are going to be from the wall. If you are not going down as far no worries your feet are going to be closer to the wall. Okay, so just hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, and if you are down here and you feel like you are going to fall, just slide back up a little bit, ease the weight on your legs. Okay, I think that's about 10 seconds. The next one, we are going to do pretty much the same thing, but we're going to come up and down, up and down instead of holding. <clears throat> I'm going to step out a little bit more. So you should be able to feel this in your buttocks and especially your thighs, your quads. And as you're going down, contract your muscles, your buttocks, your core, your thighs to make them work harder for you. We are here, so might as well work them as hard as we can. Okay. Let's do five more. Now, if you want to modify any of these, feel free. So if you, if you have your side up against the wall, it's going to be harder, but it's going to give you more support than if you are freestanding. So for example, you will lean again this way. Oops. And maybe lean your arm, one arm, just for your balance. And then go up and down this way instead of leaning your back again. Let's try with our legs wider. And going down as far as you feel comfortable. <coughs> Excuse me. Again, your weight is on your heels. You should be able to lift your toes up if necessary. Okay, I hope you're not wearing any sweaters that you care about or silk shirts or something like that. So your fabric is not going to be happy about it. Okay, keep going. Don't stop. I just want to demonstrate that you can do it this way as well. Okay, let's do three more. tiptoes. So the calves are kicking in while you're doing this. We're working our calves at the same time. Oops. So be careful so you don't slide forward. So in this case, obviously the weight on your heel thing is not possible. So you are going to put weight on your toes, but mostly on your big toes. Make sure your knees are not collapsing in. And in this case, you cannot see your toes over your knees. Don't forget to squeeze your ab, your buttocks, quads. And if you want, put your hands behind your head for more core activation. Let's do three more. 
So you can do as many or as little as you like. You can pause the video and do more if you find that uh, it's not challenging enough. Now we're going to move side to side. So you're going to have your feet shoulder width apart again. Sit. Oops, my wall's curved. So I'm walking like an elephant, making a lot of noise. <laughs> so try to do this for about 20 seconds. Next time I shall have a timer with me. So we're going to combine side to side steps and squats. So you're going to have your feet narrow or narrow together. Come down. And as you come up, step side to side. And then further out again. As you come up, side to side. Now let's try stepping sideways with the other foot first. So I've been doing my left foot first, so I'm just going to do my right. And to even it out, I'm going to go with the right again. And then I'm going to alternate. And left. Two more. Left. One more on the right. And one. Now, how would you do this on your side? Well, you would pretty much do the same thing but holding with one hand. And as you come up, side to side. And right first, and left. So I'm making sure your weight is on your heels, coming back up, right, left. Am I stating the obvious here? Stop me if it gets annoying. And. It. Almost did it again. Okay, last one on the right for me. Okay, so the next one's a little more challenging because we're going to um, do single legged squats. Again, if you're not too comfortable with that, you can do um, two legs and just you know keep this motion going up and down. If you are okay to try single leg, we're going to, you can either do it this way. So bending one knee, or you can cross over, whichever you are able to do and feel more comfortable with. Five. Six. So your weight is still on your heel. In most squats, your weight should be on your heels at all times. Last one on this side. And switch. So you can slow down, you don't have to do it at my speed. You can pause the video and do more if you like. Or if you can't do as many, then let the video play, but do a wall sit instead. If you want, you can have your arms out like this, just to make your arms work. And it also helps with your balance as well. And last one. Okay. Next one, single leg again. Let's put our right foot forward. 
cross our left leg over it if you're able. If you're not able to do that, then keep to one leg. If you are able to cross, bring your arms out, weight on your heel. Now you'll feel a stretch under here as you're doing this, which is a bonus. Go down as far as you can go without collapsing down. If you have balance issues, it helps to have a chair or something to hold on to in case you lose your balance. And when you get up, don't lock your knee. Your knee should be slightly bent, nice and comfortable. Okay, last one. And the other side. Left foot forward, crossing over with your right or you might have it this way. And and down, up. Feel that stretch. Squeeze your stomach muscles, your buttocks, your thighs, and feel the stretch under here. If your arms are getting tired, you can cross them, but keep your elbows up. Why not make your arms work out as well while you're doing this? And one more. So we're going to do frog squats. You're going to have your feet slightly wider than your shoulders because we are going to bend over and bring your elbows between your knees. Okay, so you're gonna come down to a comfortable level. You're going to bend your back relatively straight. Your neck is in neutral. You're not down here. And your arms are nice and relaxed. So you're gonna go from there to just Straightening out and then back down. This is our last one, so give it all you've got. So this is wall sit combined with, I'm not sure, deadlift, frog. Who comes up with these names anyways? If you are feeling sore, you feel like your legs are going to give out, then slide up a bit more, ease the tension a little bit, and then keep going. So it's fine to modify, it's okay to take breaks, but keep moving. Keep working those muscles because they're warmed up. And your heart rate is elevated, so we don't want to bring all of that down. Let's do three more. Two. And one. Well done. So as always, once your body is warmed up, it's really important to stretch because it stretches prevent injuries. And also they improve your flexibility, which means you'll be able to get down lower um, after practicing this for a while and it will um, engage your muscles more through the whole range rather than just the end range. So uh, since we worked on our lower bodies, let's start with rotating our hips, just stretching our back and our hips. So we're going to go in alternating directions again Counterclockwise, nice and slow. Always use controlled movements. And clockwise the other way. Okay, 
So we're going to hold on to the wall and bend our knee. If you can reach behind and grab your foot, great. We're just going to um, stretch our quad muscle. If not, you can just bend as much as you can and try to straighten out your hips so it's not bent like this. Okay, straighten out this way and stretch your quad or if you can't bend your knee, then just stretch out this way as much as you can. And that's an exercise in itself because you're contracting your glutes and they're working while you're stretching. Okay, the other side. Reaching behind. And if you don't need this hand for balance, I like to reach behind with that hand as well. Make sure your hip is straight or as straight as it can be. And the reason I like to reach behind with both hands is so that I'm stretching my chest because all of us are slouched over most of the time when we are working on our screens. So important muscle to stretch for your posture. So you're here or here as well for stretching. Now we're going to stretch the back of our thighs, so hamstrings. Breathing in, and as you breathe out, just reach down. So you might go up to your knee, you might go up to your thigh, or you might go down all the way, mid-calf or ankle. You try to keep your back straight-ish. Five, four, three, two, one, and coming up slowly, and the other side, breathing in, as you breathe out, come on down, and feel the stretch in the back of your leg, five, four, three, two, one, and coming back up slowly, and we're going to Bend forward, cross our arms, and just hang. Now as you're hanging, move side to side so you're shifting weight from right to left, right to left. And just feel the stretches in the back of your legs and as well as your back. Now we're gonna come up, but as you come up, stop um, midway and stretch to one side. We're stretching our backs here and the other side. And my best will come up all the way. Rotating, right to left. And lastly, we're going to stretch our calves. So you are going to put your toes up against the wall and just lean forward. Your back is straight, everything is straight, your leg is straight. Your ankle is the only thin joint that's bent and you're just leaning forward until you feel the stretch in your calves. Other side. If you don't feel the stretch, uh, it might be that your ankle is not bent enough or that you're not close enough to the wall. Okay, so let's take two breaths. Well, well done everyone. Join me next time for more beginner's workout.